All right, boys and girls, we have a whole box of toys here that we're going to go through right now. Start off with the Space Shuttle. Space Shuttle out of NASA. The Space Shuttle Enterprise, equipped with its wheels. NASA, United States, inside. Place to carry all the, uh, all the satellites. NASA. have next the Honda motorcycle equipped with a, a gas tank on top got your handlebars wheel spin completely both ways and on the back of the license plate it actually says Masio Masio see that up close Masio Next up is a Transformers car. Looks like an, uh, an, an Autobot, yellow. And it's got his wheels as well. And then if you push this back, it actually goes back for you. And then I believe that is the Autobots. If you boys and girls correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, next up is, I don't know who this character is from. Little toy here. It's like a little girl inside the toy. Um, um, yellow car. Nice little yellow car there as well. Okay, now we have the Spider-Man motorcycle. Featured in, in one of the movies, the Spider-Man movies. We don't have Spider-Man unfortunately there. You can see the logo up close. The Spider-Man, well, maybe it's maybe it's more like a scooter, the Spider-Man scooter. Okay, let's get to the next one. Hot Wheels Hot Rod. A Hot Wheels Hot Rod here. Some sort of racing vehicle. Very modern, very futuristic. You don't see these on the street these days, but it's a Hot Wheels. Perhaps a futuristic version of the Hot Wheels. Next up is a truck out of uh, any any toy store that you can get these out of orange truck it's even got the horns on here so I would imagine this is like out of Texas or something look at these look at these wheels oh look at that it's got some cool teeth on the side there which makes it ferocious it says El Toro Loco El Toro Loco all right, we have a minion in here, a minion with the banana. This came from a McDonald's. Uh, out of McDonald's, it says it's out of Universal Studios, made in China in 2017. I believe this was out, a, out of a McDonald's Happy Meal. All right, next up is, let's see, we have another one of these. I believe this is out of Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph, the truck. Wreck-It Ralph the truck. And what does it say on the bottom? It's out of Disney, so yeah, it must be out of the Wreck-It Ralph cartoons. All right, what do we got next? We got next the another motorcycle that looks like Captain America would use. A Captain America motorcycle. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have Captain America with us right now, but a Captain America motorcycle for you to see here. Next up is another Hot Wheels vehicle. It says it's a Roadster type vehicle. Hot Wheels. It says R, letter R, must be out of a comic book. Many different kinds of comic books inside this box that we see here. Very cool. Please tell me what which one you guys like. We'll feature that in some more videos. Next one out of the Fast and Furious movies. The uh, Toyo tires. Fast and Furious vehicle equipped with opening doors as well. The trunk you can't open on this one. It does equipped with a spoiler. 
for those of you that like your vehicles equipped with spoilers. And this is a Nissan vehicle. The Nissan vehicle out of the Fast and Furious movies. All right, next on up is a Mercedes-Benz red car. Not out of any particular movie, but this is a model that you can get at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer if you like Mercedes-Benz, but this is a cool toy car to any edition. A nice red car here. Not, it can't open up the doors on this particular one, but it's got everything pretty much to scale. Okay, what do we got next? We got another El Toro, El, El Toro Loco. We won't go through that again. That's a duplicate. We have a Fury car, RC Fury. Yes, as you can see here, the wheels have already fallen off the RC Fury car. Not worth anything. We need to buy some new wheels, and that's kind of the thing with a lot of these cars. They need maintenance. They need to be fixed up as soon as possible. Okay, so let's go with the train, a small train out of a small train set. Nothing out of the ordinary magnetic um, connection device in which you can put the train around the tracks. We have another Hot Wheels futuristic vehicle. One that you never see on the streets, very futuristic red with fire motif so I would imagine this is a very very fast vehicle if it was to ever be made okay what do we got now next we got the Hummer classic Hummer that you always see in the streets um, these doors unfortunately do not open very but this is a H2 Hummer very cool vehicle if you're so fortunate enough to own one out there it's black Looks like a very strong vehicle, very much built like a tank. I would not uh, get in the way of this if it was on the road, but it does take up a lot of gas, that is for sure. Okay, what do we got now? We got a Roadster, plastic Roadster, out of, uh, this is a classic, probably 1920s or 1930s type Roadster. These definitely are classics, you don't really see these anymore. Uh, on the road, there's so many of these um, back in the day, you don't see them anymore, but look at look at that grill work, They're pretty cool. Okay, what do we got? We have another Spider-Man motorcycle, a classic, as you can tell. The We love Spider-Man, um, it very much differs than the first one that I showed you. This Spider-Man is more like a rocket compared to the other one which looked like a, a scooter. So you got the scooter and the rocket type Spider-Man vehicles in the box today. All right, what do we got next? We have another truck. This one actually makes some sound for you. Battery operated, got the horn. Number 67, just like any monster truck that you see out there, probably an all-terrain um, off-road vehicle. Cool, huh? Cool grill work. Okay, we have another hot, we have another motorcyclist here. Looks like a stunt man that's about to go very fast, as quickly as possible, on the motorcycle track. He's equipped with all of his, he's got his helmet, got his protective boots, protective gloves, and he is ready to rock and roll on the track. Okay, what do we got next? We got another vehicle here, orange vehicle. No license plate, but this looks to be a Corvette with the stripes. As you can see, it's a little bit worn, so we've had this vehicle for quite some time. And uh, a cool vehicle, very fast vehicle, if you ever see them on the streets, very, very fast toy car. Okay, we got a helicopter inside here. The helicopter is uh, a wooden helicopter. I don't know where this was acquired or where we bought this, but um, you know, this is good to fly around. Just looks not really a scale model made of wood and you got the propeller spinning in 
multiple directions. The pilot looks very happy, doesn't he? Okay, what do we got next? All right, we have a fireman from one of the the um, um, Fisher Price toys. Looks like a happy guy. It says the Fisher Price little people that we see in many of those toys. The Fisher Price little people. Okay, next is a gigantic Tonka police car. And it does make sounds, little boys and girls, make sounds, the Tonka police. Look at that, isn't that cool? Equipped with the, the road bumper, just in case it has to crash into vehicles to get them off the side of the road. And it's equipped with real life sounds. I'm not gonna mess with this police car, it says PD-01, the license plate on that. All right, what do we got next? We have, oh yes, we have a Transformer. The Transformers have made it into the box again. And this Transformer in particular can um, transport himself back into a truck. You see he dives down, arms tuck in, and now you have a truck that is equipped and ready to go to get to the next destination to get to the Decepticons, get to the Decepticons. Opens up, there he is. Opened up and ready for action. All right, what do we got next? What's next is a tank. A tank out of any modern day arsenal, any modern day war. Um, they don't really make these so much anymore. I don't see them in the stores too much. What's a tank? The, the head actually rotates around and around, so you get a 360 rotation to aim your weapons, and the weapon typically is shot out of here. Yes, a tank, classic tank. Okay, I just got to see where we were on time. All right, oh yes, so we have the Green Lantern. Green Lantern vehicle out of the Green Lantern movies. I believe this was made by Hot Wheels as well. The Green Lantern, but the funny thing about the Green Lantern is why would the Green Lantern need a car? Doesn't the Green Lantern fly? Doesn't the Green Lantern, can't the Green Lantern use his uh, powers to transport him to different places? So the car doesn't actually make any sense, but the car is pretty cool to me and I like the color. I love the, and I love the logo as well. The Green Lantern car. All right, what do we got now? Oh, we got a skateboard in here. Skateboard, for all of you skateboard enthusiasts that are out there. Um, it's got a cool design, it says Tsunami. And you got the wave coming over, and you know, what else can you say? It's a fast skateboard for all of you skateboard enthusiasts that are out there. A classic replica to play with. Okay, we got something from a McDonald's Happy Meal. I'm not sure where this is from. It might be from the uh, Vampirina Disney series. It looks like it, doesn't it? I'm not quite sure. Please tell me what this is from. It is from, what's from? It's from DC Comics, so it's gotta be from something that I'm not even aware of. But please tell me in the comments below what that is. Whoops, there it goes. Okay, what do we got next? All right, so we have a classic truck, no specific brand, number seven, green, and looks like it is plastic and a very, very fast vehicle. All right, what do we got next? We have something out of Japan, I believe. This is out of the one of those fantastic Japanese um, flying machines out of the those anime cartoons and it doesn't actually say where this is from it's made by Activision but it looks cool look you know looks looks like it can fly towards the camera right fly towards the camera and you can actually seat somebody in there it's very nice very nice stuff all right so we got another I believe this is a Wreck-It Ralph character then I don't know who these characters are 
This is it's a, oh it's a fix it yeah so it's a fix so it's a so it's it's probably Wreck It Ralph's buddy. This guy actually fixes things as opposed to Wreck It Ralph who destroys things. So this guy, this gentleman in here, drives around town and fixes stuff that Wreck It Ralph breaks. Okay, let's go moving forward here. All right, we got another truck. Another cool truck out of the box. Black and white. I'm not really sure what this does, but it looks like it's some sort of stand that kicks out. Actually looks like the shape of a dog, doesn't it? Okay. Really cool. Really cool dog that you would see. It's got the floppy ears and all of that stuff. Okay, what do we got next? We got uh, a piece of a ladder out of the fire department. Fire department ladder. And look at that. Fire department ladder. So this is essential for any fire department whenever they need to rescue a cat or get into a two-story building. Very cool. Okay, we got, a, we got another vehicle. This is actually a Volkswagen Gray convertible vehicle. Look at uh, all gray and stuff. Everything opens up so you can load two passengers in there and we can take it for a spin later on today. All right, we got another Hot Wheels vehicle out of the future. Futuristic Hot Wheels vehicle of some sort. Very cool, very nice. Super fast. Again, you don't see these vehicles on the road because they're kind of concept vehicles. And I don't know who would be driving this kind of car, but it would definitely attract a lot of attention out there. Okay, now we got a... Ooh, I love this. I love this truck. This was actually featured in one of our other movies out there. Check it out in the Transformer movie that we made a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was actually loaded onto the Paw Patrol vehicle. It's actually a water truck. Water truck. Water tanker of some sort. Yes, it's called Benzene Green Groups. Another truck out of the vehicle. Another truck. A lot of trucks here today in, in, in our surprise box. The trucks are abundant. So many trucks out here. Okay, yes, so we now have Optimus Prime, you know, the star of many of our, our mini movies. Optimus Prime, completely equipped with his arms, legs, head. Head tucks in. We can tuck it in here. Let's see if we can tuck it in. Tuck it in. Now the vehicle. The truck, ready for him to go and fight any of the Decepticons at any moment. So to fold it down, push it forward, there you go. Optimus Prime. What else do we got in here? Alright, we got another toy car, another toy, transparent toy car. And uh, it's actually transparent so you can actually see what's going on inside if you can see what, what's there. If you could get this focused properly, you can see what's inside there. What do we got next? Another skateboard. Skateboard called Deck Tech. Deck Tech skateboard. This is actually pretty cool because it actually it has the, the surface of a skateboard. And it's got the wheels and everything ready to go for somebody to use their fingers um, to do some tricks on it. It's, it's kind of cool. I like it. All right, what do we got next? All right, we got another stunt man motorcycle that's going from zero to 200 miles an hour. Got his protective gear, the helmet, very important. You have the the, uh, the feet, the hands, uh, all protected by many, many different protective devices. All right, what do we got next in here? Ah, we got the Robo Dog. One of our favorites, again, featured in in one of our movies. Please check that out if you get a chance. We did a Transformer movie a couple days or a couple weeks ago, and our star Robo Dog. Hello, Robo Dog. 
How are you today? Robo dog. All right, what's what, what do we got next? We inside here. Oh, we got another we got another toy from Anime Films. Um, no, actually, this is from the Transformers. Again, must this must be a Decepticon of some sort? But it's not complete because it's actually cut off. You can see it's actually cut off on the bottom. It used to be an airplane. This is one of those toys we may just have to throw away. Just get rid of it. Throw it away. Okay, what do we got next? We have, uh, we have a big rig truck. Again, this was featured in one of our other videos. Check it out. Uh, video that uh, Mickey, Mickey Mouse actually drove this in one of the movies to help the Transformers get this, get some, get some vehicles out to uh, Tony Stark in New York. We have a, a truck, very cool truck. Very cool, very cool, complete and everything. It's got the horns and everything else. Okay, what do we got next? We have, ah yes, this is one of the favorites that we have out there in uh, motion picture and TV land from one of the Disney films. I, his name escapes me, of course, but it's, um, I don't know, it's one of, those, one of those Cars movie, the Cars movie. You guys place in the comments there what, what his name is and uh, let me know. But his name escapes me at the moment, but he's been in at least three Cars movies. Number 95. Number 95. What do we got next? What is next? Another toy vehicle. Again, generic toy vehicle. Most of us have probably never heard of this brand. But it's cool to drive around. Unfortunately, you can see that the things are stuck already. Completely stuck. Can't get it to work. So we need to tune this up and get it fixed as soon as possible. All right. Ah, one of my favorites, the Grave Digger. This is a classic monster truck if you've ever been to a monster truck um, place this is the classic grave digger along with Bigfoot and uh, many many others classic Hot Wheels toy called the grave digger you can get this um, in a lot of different places they don't really make these anymore but this is the grave digger you look at how it's, it's, it's uh, suspended on its chassis and the wheels stick out on the bottom. All right, what we got next? We have another Transformers police car. This one actually transforms into Chase, the police car. We've featured Chase in many, many different, on, on two different occasions in two different movies, so please check those out when you get a chance. Chase converts into a police car very, very quickly. Very, very quickly, in fact. I mean, it's like instantaneous. Look at that. It's just, it's there. He's, he's, he's there. He needs to transport himself, pull him up, bam. He's ready to go. He's ready to fight the good fight. There you go. All right, we're almost done with this. We're almost complete with this. Ah, oh, there's another uh, vehicle. Looks like a bookworm of some sort. He's a bookworm driving around in a vehicle scholar graduate of some program and he's ready to go i mean you know he he studies so much even while driving that's 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 interesting so boys and girls study as hard as you can be the best you can be study hard like this gentleman in, in the vehicle all right what else we got all right so we have another version of the chase transformers vehicle this one's a little bit bigger than the, uh, than the other one that I showed you guys. Just a little bit bigger. And it converts very quickly again. That's the great thing about these Transformer Rescue Bot toys. They all convert very, very quickly. As quickly as you can put them there. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's literally one second to do it. I mean, that's what you need when you're fighting the Decepticons. You gotta be fast. Boom, boom. See, you literally just convert them so quickly because you don't have time to waste when you're fighting the Decepticons. You need to be fast. Cool police car, he can camouflage himself amongst the general population. When he's ready to fight, bam, he's out. All right, what do we got next? Okay, so we have a 
We have a rhino. Uh, we have a triceratops, which again, these are extinct. You will never find them in, in the general wildlife. You'll never find them in an African preserve because they don't exist anymore. But out of the imagination of somebody, somebody came up with these triceratops. Um, and I like this. I, I like this particular toy because all you need to do is get a screwdriver and you can take it apart and kind of mix and match the parts. So it's actually one of those cool toys, kind of along the lines of Transformers. I actually would wonder who would win the fight here. Would it be the Transformers or would it be um, these these uh, mechanical dinosaurs? Please uh, comment below and tell me w which one you think would would actually win the fight. Who would win that good fight? That's very like an actually interesting uh, question, interesting rhetorical question, which we need to have answered, of course. All right, we're almost done here. Oh, we got another transformer vehicle, um, and this one is, I believe, is I, if my again his this the names mistake me, but I think it's Firefly or something like that, or, or no, it's just Heat Wave, I believe. It's just Heat Wave, Heat Wave, FC. Um, this one doesn't isn't as good to transform. It's kind of harder to transform this one. As you can see, it's kind of kind of bulky. It doesn't quite quite work like the other ones. Um, it's still functional, but again, it's it's a little bit harder to to transport this one. It's, it's, it appears to be like some kind of speedboat. So this one's kind of limited as to where it can go. Whereas the other ones are vehicles and cars. This one's actually a boat. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of battles that happen on the on the water, but you know this one can kind of camouflage itself on the boat as a boat and then go into battle when it needs to but again hard to hard to put together not my favorite we are almost done here uh, boys and girls almost done here we get through more and more vehicles a, a motorcycle uh, this looks like a very very fast motorcycle a quick quick vehicle that you could take for a spin around the block very interesting in fact a uh, motorcycle Number 25, again, one of those racing motorcycles that we've seen in the other earlier parts. All right, we now have an airplane pilot, another little people airplane, um, kind of out of nowhere. But it takes you can take out the pilot, got the airplane, you got a separate uh, contraption, and yeah, just ready to fly. What you got next, Mickey the Mechanic. Mickey always busy with many, many different costumes. He was also featured in one of the, the earlier movies that we had. Um, he was working the junkyard, the toy junkyard with the Transformers. Can check out that video. Get a chance. That is Mickey. Mickey ready to go with his wrench, ready to fix any and all cars. Okay, we're almost done here. Again, another Wreck-It Ralph film character. So many Wreck-It Ralph uh, thing. I think you know we have uh, such a great collection of Wreck-It Ralph toys that um, you know we may have to feature them in, in, in another film. Right. Another. This is a very old vehicle. You can tell by by the chipping paint. This is not a particularly fast vehicle, as you can tell. Just like anything that you would see on the street, um, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. White with uh, the stripes. Uh, this looks like um, experimental aircraft, Sonic Thunder Air Force. Again, I don't have never seen this plane myself in real life, but it looks like it's an Air Force vehicle. We are almost finished here. Let's get through a couple more toys here. Ah, we have a helicopter. Helicopter. Again, this is purely out of somebody's imagination. Never seen this helicopter in real life. It doesn't exist. And <laughs> it doesn't even look like it's aerodynamically correct. It doesn't look like it would fly very fast, but it's a uh, helicopter. 
wrapping it up with the uh, with another transformer. This one's broken, as you can tell. Snap there, but this is what this would look like. This would actually be pretty cool because it could blend in to the sky. Uh, it would just have to be parked somewhere on some kind of landing strip if it wasn't being used to fly. But the good thing about this transformer is it could fly. You know, it could fly at a moment's notice. If they called it, it would be there instantly. And but for the most part, I'm sure it doesn't really fly around too much. Kind of just stays in the hangar bay and hides. All right, what we got here? We got a. All right, so the last one is a motorcycle. We got a motorcycle, a Harley Davidson Davidson motorcycle. Um, yeah, these these you can definitely see in the streets. They're they're pretty cool and they're like really a work of art if you think about it. These Harley Davidson motorcycles, cool stuff. I guess we're gonna end it with this vehicle, the very, very last one out of the vehicle, out of the box. Futuristic, another futuristic um, Hot Wheels called the Flathead Fury vehicle. Um, this is out of somebody's mind. They don't actually make these vehicles on on the street at the moment, number three. But I can imagine this this vehicle's very, very fast, and I wouldn't want to race this car on the streets. Alright boys and girls, I hope you guys had fun going through all the different vehicles that we have in the toy box. And if you guys like what you saw, please like, subscribe, or comment below. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.